are from the uh, beautiful state um, of Washington and you came over here to New Jersey to participate in our Labs of Democracy 2022 um, on climate and energy issues. Um, what motivated you um, to take time out of your busy schedule to do so? Well, I think the opportunity to gather together with other individuals from across the political spectrum to talk about how we address some of the major issues that we face that really, uh, I don't think that anyone can deny that climate change is a, a global problem. So, of course, it would deserve a, a global team of people who are working together to come up with some policy solutions that can be implemented. So after the first day of um, intensive discussions and meetings, um, also with your German uh, colleagues, um, is there something which surprised you, something you already take away as a learning for your state? Well, I have always thought that Germany was truly a leader, whether it was in water conservation or, or energy conservation. Um, one thing that really surprised me, though it shouldn't have, is that the, the folks that we're dealing with are the same people. They have, they, sh you know, they they share the same concerns. They uh, they really, um, regardless of the idea that we don't speak the same language, we're all elected officials who are representing people, some who are hesitant, some who are strongly um, um, ready to go and ready for change. And so it was surprising to me that the challenges that we face are basically the same. So there have always been up and downs in the transatlantic relationship. Um, what would you recommend how to strengthen the German-American partnership? I think what we need to do, at least on our side of the Atlantic, is really um, develop organizations that remain focused on it. It's easy when we're all here to say, oh, this is something we should do. But unless that translates into ongoing behavior, um, it may fall by the wayside. And I think on, on this issue, and, and candidly many other issues, it's just too important to allow that. So for us to um, do sort of the cadre building on in our respective states and keep the relationship strong with the, the colleagues that we've met during the Aspen Institute, I think that we can assure that what we've done here will continue to translate for stronger relations down the road. Thank you so very much.